The Bachelor's Australia 2023's polyamorous contestant Jess Naveen has revealed the truth behind her open relationship with partner Damien. The 25-year-old reality TV newbie explained on The Kyle and Jackie O Show that she had only been dating the father of one for a couple of months before applying for the show. The polyamorous couple had agreed not to be exclusive because Jessica wanted to travel and move away from Townsville. At the same time, Damien wanted to remain in the regional Queensland city for his two-year-old daughter. I explained to Damien, look, I don't really want to be settling down in Townsville. I either wanted to move overseas or like move out of Queensland, Jess said. She added, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to kind of put all of my eggs in one basket at that point in time in my life. We knew that it was going to be a long-term thing, but, that there was always going to be an expiration date. Kyle Sanderlin suggested Jessica was just managing his expectations by deciding not to be monogamous early in their relationship. But old mate declaring his love for her while on The Bachelor's Australia made us feel like his expectations were still pretty damn high. So, was Jessica Naveen and Damien's open relationship actually polyamorous? To put it simply, polyamory is a form of ethical non-monogamy, which focuses strongly on consent from everybody involved. It centers around having committed relationships, typically, but not exclusively romantic, between two or more people, according to Psych Central. But Jess confirmed that she felt like she was cheating when she went out with other men, including when she had a one-night stand with one of her dates, despite Damien being aware of the situation. Jess confirmed on air that she went on two dates with other men while seeing Damien, before appearing on The Bachelor's Australia. It was such an out-of-body experience. I was like, what the hell am I doing? Jess said of her one-night stand. However, Jess admitted during the January 17th episode of The Bachelor's Australia that she would feel uncomfortable with Damien dating other women. But apparently, Jessica wouldn't continue dating both Damien and Felix von Hofa at once, post-filming, we guess, and eventually wanted a monogamous relationship when she started a family. She has also previously confirmed that she didn't want two partners at the end of this. She later told the radio hosts that she felt like Bella Swan in Twilight choosing between her two love interests Edward Cullen and Jacob Black. Interesting analogy. Want even more goss? Listen to episode 247 of the So Dramatic podcast with Megan Puschetto below. Know something that we don't? Spill the tea here. Get the tea first. Follow So Dramatic on Instagram and tune in on Tuesday to get your reality tea fix with the So Dramatic podcast with Megan Puschetto. Jessamy Houston January 19, 2023 Jessamy Houston digital content producer When she's not deep diving into celeb socials and exposing problematic AF claims, you can find Jessamy scrolling endlessly through TikTok, drinking any form of caffeine she can get her hands on or playing with her pet cat. Who is the most iconic Aussie reality TV star ever? Australian Idol's Ricky Lee Coulter. She cemented herself in my number one spot after signing my Total Girl poster of her nearly two decades ago and this icon isn't budging from my books anytime soon. Favorite reality TV show? Great British Bake Off. What is your favorite reality TV quote? Dance Moms Dr. Holly, you're entitled to your wrong opinion. What would your Real Housewives tagline be? It's not my fault the truth hurts, here's a band-aid. Contact, Jessamy at Sidramatisia Media. Come.